And welcome back. The American River draws thousands of swimmers and boaters each year, especially as the warm temperatures move in. But tonight, some concerns about E. coli levels within Sacramento's waterways after recent testing showed high levels of the bacteria. New tonight, CBS 13's Sharin Rajay is getting answers about whether or not these levels are a risk to the public. Sharin? Yeah, Christina and Tony, the Central Valley Water Board is doing weekly sampling of E. coli bacteria at nine different sites. And what they found is that at several sites on the Lower American River, it has tested positive for E. coli contamination. Now Sacramento County health officials are giving precautions and warning people to take those precautions if you're getting in the water. Successful day of fishing? Uh, not so far. I just got off of work. Hopefully I catch something. Peter Zong and his friend Andy Vang of Sacramento are out fishing on the American River here in Discovery Park every other weekend. I would say when uh, the temperature gets to like 70 to 80 degrees. That's when the fishing is pretty good, and uh, I guess people swim here a lot when it gets warmer. In warm weather, the river does get packed, but recent water quality monitoring by the Central Valley Water Board shows that the Lower American River continues to have high levels of E. coli, higher than the threshold set by the Environmental Protection Agency. It's a bit concerning because if it gets up in the 80s this weekend, you know, I noticed that there's some concern with warm weather and whether or not people will go in the river. Most strains of E. coli are harmless, but some can pose a threat to human health. The big question, what's the source? To look at what is happening, what could be causing those high results, and then also is it causing people to fall sick? Now, while there are elevated levels of bacteria at some sites posing an increased risk to recreational users of the river, Sacramento County officials say they have not received any reports of illnesses. Sacramento County's public health officer says while they continue to monitor levels, they're warning folks to take precautions. So it's always important to um, practice safe habits, making sure that after they swim, they take a shower. While they're swimming, they should not drink the water. They should not use that water for washing fruits or vegetables. Are you going to be swimming in there anytime no soon? No swimming, just walking. Now, the Water Board is also doing a year-long study to test the actual source of the E. coli bacteria. Meanwhile, county officials say that they have no plans right now to close any beaches. They're monitoring the situation, and they're putting up signs so people are aware. Sharon, thanks. Live in Sacramento tonight. New tonight.